What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about 852 hertz. Am I pointing at that? Sorry, it's all backwards on my end. We're listening to 852 hertz. I'm getting comments. People want to know the science behind this, why it works, why those thoughts in your mind get silenced, why it helps you study. So we're going to get into that right now. Let me blow this up real quick. Cool. All right. So first of all, there's not a whole lot of study on this. Not a lot of, a lot of knowledge known. A lot of the evidence is anecdotal at that. So scientists are kind of skeptical on like claiming this does this, this, or this. Here's what we know. Okay. There's something called, I have some notes here. Um, I'm going to read a little bit from it and I'm going to go off what I know, but there's something called brainwave entrainment. So I'm going to read you the definition real quick. Brainwave entrainment is when you listen to sounds at a specific frequency. Your brain can synchronize its brainwave activity to match that frequency. This process, known as brainwave entrainment, is thought to influence your state of mind. Here's how this works, okay? You have a binaural beat. How it works is you have one sound, one tone in this ear, and one in this ear. So let's say we go like 100 hertz here and 107 hertz here. The difference between the two is 7 hertz. Your mind, even though it's listening to two tones, will hear the difference between the two, and it'll say, okay, seven hertz. And then your brain will start to resonate with that frequency. That's what it runs on. That's brainwave, uh, I keep saying entrancement, but that's brainwave entrance, and there it is, brainwave entrainment. I don't know why I thought it was entrancement. Anyway, so that's how a binaural beat works. The reason it works that way is the human ears can pick up frequencies or sounds let's call them at 20 hertz all the way up to like a huge number it's like 20,000 kilohertz or 200,000 kilohertz I don't even know but underneath 20 you can't hear and the brain operates between like I think it's like up to 10 hertz or so and so 852 hertz when you listen to it of course your mind doesn't operate on an 852 hertz frequency however what we're showing in science is that through studies and I don't have any links to them it's just what I'm reading online but essentially, when you listen to it, it almost produces a theta brainwave type response, which is why they still think it's entrainment. Even though it's not a binaural beat, when you listen to this tone, your mind goes into almost a theta state, which is weird because a focused state of mind is typically like a, like a beta state almost. Theta is almost like, um, like bypassing your consciousness. It's kind of just slowing everything down. And maybe that's what it is. And maybe that's why your mind slows down. I never thought of that until now. You know, it's not t technically like a state of mind for studying per se. However, if your thoughts are silent and you're able to focus and concentrate, I would say that's good for studying either way. So that's really interesting. What you can do with it is you can have like an 852 hertz frequency and another frequency that's like, I don't know, what does it say here? Theta is four to eight hertz. I like seven hertz for theta. So let's say a seven hertz, seven hertz difference between 852 and something else you can use 852 hertz as a binaural beat in that sense. That way you're still listening to 852 hertz. However, you're also producing theta brainwaves at the same time. Kind of like a bypass. It's very interesting. But other than that, not much is really known about it. It's a solfeggio frequency, which is really special and important. We're not going to talk about that today. I'll make a whole nother video on that. Um, but that's really all they know about it right now. And it's kind of crazy. I don't know why this video blew up. Maybe someone was talking about it on TikTok or something. I don't have a TikTok or really any social media, so I don't know. Um, but the searching for 852 hertz has exploded. And obviously, I see why. I get comments from all you guys. I mean, we can go through them here. Look, there's arguments that this is all placebo. But like, calming the voices, stop my thoughts, calm the hyperactivity, made for ADHD peoples, 64 likes. No one can stop my overthinking. Uh, this is an amazing one. This is honestly the only way I've managed to make my brain slow down. It always goes so fast. I get a little headache. I've tried vape, cigarettes, alcohol, and drugs. And this is this honestly does it the best for me. Thank you so much. I mean, there's a lot of comments like that. So calm frequency. Um, somehow the second I turn this on, my ears feel stuffy. My mind is blank. I can't visualize anything. I can't swallow. What kind of sorcery is this? And there's stuff like, thank you. This is tremendously helping me with focusing on work. So, I mean... Being that there's this kind of response to it, I can't imagine it's a placebo. I've done my own double blind studies with friends with this frequency and other frequencies testing other ideas that I've had, and it's not placebo. But when you think about it, everything's frequency, right? Everything at its fundamental core, science shows, is just a vibration. And so vibration is just frequency. It's just sound. Oops, let's turn that off. 
But um, yeah, it's very interesting. If you guys have any more questions, if I'll try to answer them the best that I can, leave them in the box below, the comment box. And if this is helpful or you learned something new here, please give me like a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Or uh, I don't know, just leave a comment. Honestly, I don't like comments more than thumbs up. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's a placebo? Do you think it's real? Do you have any other theories on it? I'm curious to know what you guys think. If you have any information that I missed, please leave it below. I'm sure everyone else would like to see it. I don't know how to pin a comment to the top, but if I see something that's worthy, I'll try and figure out how to pin it. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I've got more content on the way. I've got more frequencies, binaural beats, sleep music. I've got like 50 videos planned. I've got a whole like uh, list of things I want to do now. I've just been been putting a lot of thought and effort into it so there's some cool stuff on the horizon we'll talk about a lot more some educational content like this and i might redo this video in a little bit do it a little more professional but someone was asking for it so i figured i'd just do it real quick anyway um yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>